join me here at Ashley's Kitchen. Well, it's not really Ashley's Kitchen. I'm Leah Beth, and this is my kitchen. But this is for you, Ashley, because you can do it. And this could be your kitchen. And anyway, I'm glad you tuned in and joined me. We're going to do something that I think is pretty fabulous. We're going to make portobello mushroom pizzas. I love pizza. But I'm trying not to eat too much bread these days. It's just a really easy way to maintain your weight or to drop a few pounds, whatever you need to do. And with all the processed flour, it's just really not that good for you anyway. So we do have pizza sometimes, but probably a year and a half ago or so, I was at Aldi and all of a sudden it hit me. I saw these beautiful things and I thought, oh my goodness, we could have portobello mushroom pizzas. So I bought them and we tried them and they were fantastic. So we haven't done it for a long time, but I was at Walmart the other day and saw these beauties. And so I thought, hey, let's do our portobello mushroom pizzas again. So here we go. I have got the oven preheating to a high broil. So you don't have to use your broiler if it freaks you out because it gets so hot. You could do like 375 for maybe 15 minutes or so. Check it out. Check on them. See how they're doing. But I'm going to try the broiler tonight. It's been so long since I've made these. I've kind of forgotten how I cook them. So I looked online and found one recipe that broils them. So we're going to try that tonight. Okay, we have our portobello mushrooms and there are five of us eating tonight. And I do not want to buy a whole mushroom for every person. I just don't want to spend that much money, which is not that much. But So what I like to do, you try to find the middle and I like to actually cut these things with my nice serrated bread knife and cut these things in half. And might please some of you anyway, because some of you might be thinking, I don't really want a whole portobello mushroom. Now, if you can see, that was a little rough going. I just didn't choose a very good middle there. That will still be okay. All right, let's try it again and see if we can do a little bit better. If it looks like you're a little bit too close to the top of the cap, that's probably better because it dips down in. So let's try that again. Cut a little bit closer this time to the top. And I'm going to go in there, flip it around, and go in here. And see how this goes. All right, a little bit better. Still not great, but it's coming a little better. So hey, by the time we get to the last one, they should be pretty good. All right, here we go. Uh, I think it's, well, that one split before I went all the way through. Okay, so you can see that not everybody is gonna get the exact same size, but that will probably work out just fine. Okay. Here we go with the last one. Let's make this a good one. We need a really good cut on this one because we've had a little bit of trouble here tonight. Okay, flip that around. Cut from this side. Now that is how it should be. Look at that. Now there's mushroom maintenance. Okay, so I'm using my Pampered Chef Pizza Stone or Cookie Stone, whatever you like to use it for tonight. You can do this on a cookie sheet. You can use whatever you want. Okay, so I've got my olive oil here and let's put a little bit of salt in there and swish that around. I'm going to actually add a little pepper. I think that might be a nice addition to me. And we could put a little bit on the bottom, okay, and some on the top. Okay, I like to do this with the olive oil. Ooh, this one is a little fragile. Okay, 
You know who usually takes those? It's mom, right? Because you want the others to have the best. But that's how we do things, isn't it? That's all right. Until somebody sees it and goes, no, mom, you're going to actually have to have a good one tonight. Huh? Well, I had four mushrooms. So there are actually six of these tonight. So I guess I could take a nicer one. And that pitiful one could be somebody's extra. So I'm just brushing both sides with olive oil and salt and pepper. Okay? And let's do that a little bit. And end with this guy. Now, for our toppings, it would be fabulous. Let me use up a little bit more of this. It would be fabulous to do ground beef or um, pepperoni if you dare to go for those nitrites and nitrates. Um, but I didn't have any of that on hand. I had a piece of leftover chicken from lunch I was going to use. I was going to cut up real fine or shred it, and somebody ate it. So we have no meat for our wonderful uh, portobello mushroom pizzas tonight. That's okay. And I think what I'm going to do to serve with these, I think I'm going to cut up some vegetables. I have some homemade dip that we've done on another show. I have some of that in the fridge. So I think I'm going to cut up some veggies. And this is just going to be a big veggie feast. So um, my mushrooms are prepped. And let's do some toppings. So I'm going to have onions and some green pepper and Parmesan cheese and some mozzarella. So let's get busy with that. Oh, and I almost forgot, I've got some um, kale and spinach from the garden here. So we'll put that on top too and see how it goes. Pizza is great because you can really put almost anything on a pizza. Um, once your tomatoes come in season, and you're either in your garden or you're buying maybe some fresh tomatoes from a local market. Um, those are nice to put on too. Maybe slice some um, cherry tomatoes look great on there. Might even look a little bit like um, pepperoni. <laughs> so if you're not doing pepperoni, you can give the, the look of pepperoni with some tomatoes thinly sliced. Um, so I think that might be enough onions. Had a little bit of onions left over that were already cut from the other day. And I love to use leftovers. I try not to throw stuff away. If it's enough to save, to throw into scrambled eggs or like if you have some onions cut up and you don't use them all, if you can save those things, they are a great thing to throw into scrambled eggs or to add to another day's recipe. So I like to use my leftovers when I can. And um, let's do some green pepper here. And we'll get this cut up. Okay, I think that's enough green pepper. Got my green pepper and onion. Now let's shred the mozzarella. And I like this handy grater. I usually use the biggest holes for cheese and it goes pretty quickly. And it's a good, meaningful workout. Remember that? Get those arm muscles going. Just wait. If we ever do um, homemade laundry detergent, oh my goodness, shredding that whole bar of Fels, 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 no, is a workout. Oh my goodness. I think you could probably shred bars of Fels Naphtha and sell that because there are people who would love to make their homemade um, detergent, but they do not want to shred that whole bar of soap. Anyway, okay, enough about that. Here we go. Sauce. Remember our homemade spaghetti sauce that we do with our can of tomato sauce. 
So I've got some sauce here that I whipped up and I'm actually out of fresh garlic, which is almost unheard of around here. So I just put some um, garlic powder in and hopefully it won't be too noticeable. So here we go. I'm gonna put this sauce on each of the mushrooms. Oh, this looks so good. Just wait. If you've not tried this, you really ought to try it. If you have somebody in your family who hates mushrooms, if you can get them to try it, there's a chance that they will actually eat this. I think one of my girls didn't care much for mushrooms, but actually would eat it with this. The sauce is a strong flavor until you get your toppings on and then your cheese. You might be surprised at who will eat this that you didn't think would. So it's worth a shot anyway. And mushrooms are healthy for you. Um, Tad read something just recently that eating mushrooms like so many times a week or whatever helps with forget what. I think it was your brain or something. <laughs> I guess I need to eat more mushrooms. But anyway, they're good for you. So, all right. Hard to know sometimes how much sauce, you know, but yeah. you want to see that, how that looks with just the sauce. All right. Now, the fun part is putting all our toppings on. Just think how much fun it would be if we actually had some meat. Oh, this is like little personal pizzas. This is so cute. So if you can try it, get your kids to try it. What a healthy way to still enjoy pizza. And you know, um, uh, tomato sauce is actually really healthy. So that's a good thing. And of course your vegetables are. And if you skip the pepperoni, that makes it even healthier, makes it even better. And add some veggies. You can add almost any veggies you have. Um, so, getting these on. And again, this was, this was two packs of portobello mushrooms. So it was a total of four mushrooms and I cut them, tried to cut them in half. Didn't go so well, maybe it was because you were watching, but They'll be all right. You can eat these with, as you could guess, with a fork and a knife. These are not really the kind of like pick up and eat pizzas. Um, so they're more, shall we say, a gourmet pizza. Serve it with a fork and knife. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of spinach. If my girls were standing here, they'd probably be like, Mom, no, just leave it. Oh, and here's some kale. I should have stuck with one so I know which one had what. All right. Spinach and kale, yes. Get some veggies in. So we don't want to cover up all the fun stuff, but the cheese will cover it anyway. So we might as well get some green stuff on there. Right. And let's see. All right, let's give you some more spinach over here and some spinach there. All right, wonderful. Now, that is fabulous. Can you see that? Can you see that? Doesn't that look cool? Okay. For the Parmesan, we're gonna sprinkle a little Parmesan. I better do the whole so I don't dump it all in one thing. Okay, some Parmesan on each one. And then our mozzarella. Let's move that out of the way. Our mozzarella. Oh my goodness. It looks good and it's not even baked yet. Okay. So, you could do these on the grill. Wouldn't that be fun in the summertime? And it's getting close to summertime. So you could do these on the grill. They would be beautiful. And 
then you wouldn't have to heat up your kitchen. So we are almost ready to put these things in the oven. And okay, now can you see that? There we go. We're ready to go. We're going to stick them in. Listen to this. The middle rack with the broiler on. Interesting. But that's what the recipe said. And so let's see how that works. So I'm going to leave the oven partially open because I have my broiler on on high. Set the buzzer for eight minutes and we'll see what happens. Welcome back to Ashley's Kitchen. We've got our portobello mushroom uh, pizzas hopefully ready. Let's check them out. Oh my goodness, you should see it. All right, they look really nice. I thought for a little bit maybe it wasn't going to get done down in the middle there with the broiler on and the oven door open with the broiler. But check this out. Let me bring it over there so that you can see it a little bit better. Oh my goodness, look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? All right, so you can do it. Portobello mushroom pizzas, and I've already started cutting out my vegetables for our veggie and dip. So what a great way to eat a ton of vegetables. Thanks for joining me here on Ashley's Kitchen.